Welcome back to your news tonight. Survivors of a 1981 mass food poisoning in Spain have staged a demonstration at Madrid's famous El Prado Museum. The protesters demanded to meet Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez as well as additional government funds to cover medical expenses for the surviving victims. Now, some of the group threatened to commit suicide if these conditions were not met. Estimates say up to 5,000 people were killed and another 20,000 suffered injuries after consuming adulterated olive oil nearly four decades ago. Now, let's bring in Simon Hunter. He's the editor of the English version of the El País newspaper, and he's live for us from outside the Prado Museum. Uh, Simon, tell us more about this background. Uh, what happened when these people were poisoned? Yes, in fact, the protesters are still here. The protest started at 10 o'clock uh, this morning, um, but they're still here. They've had a very long day, and they're looking very weary. But I think really what they're, very, they're particularly weary with this battle, which has been going on for... Um, for decades. Um, this story dates back to the early 80s when uh, adulterated rape seed oil was being sold uh, as olive oil and it was being sold uh, loose almost so you could kind of you know, fill up your own bottle uh, at market. Uh, and of course, at the time, it took quite a long time for um, doctors to work out what was happening and why people were having these um, medical ailments, which were mainly uh, problems with the lungs. But of course, as you mentioned, um, hundreds of people died uh, and it, uh, basically what these people are protesting against is what they say is the injustice that, the, you know, the, the court case uh, in the 80s took a very long time to happen. Uh, hardly any of the um, people involved in the case uh, uh, went to prison. And so what these people now, this group, are, are, are trying to get is, is justice from the Spanish state. They said today that they're not trying to uh, get attention, although they have uh, you know, got a huge amount of media attention today. But what they're trying to do is to speak to a minister. They want to speak to the prime minister and they want to speak to a, or a minister because they say they have exhausted all possibilities of getting any kind of compensation, having uh, sent uh, hundreds of thousands of letters uh, over the years and having not got anywhere. We're seeing the protesters still there right behind you. I mean, were they able to speak to Pedro Sanchez or any other government minister today? No, so far they haven't spoken to anyone, but they seem very determined. I mean, the, the threat that they made that they were going to take um, sleeping pills was obviously was, was quite a significant threat. I can't remember um, such a dramatic protest. Uh, in the end, uh, two of the group of six were arrested, one left of their own accord, and then the other three spent the rest of the afternoon speaking to the media. Um, they haven't uh, managed to speak to anyone yet today, but uh, they've, they've, uh, they have drawn a lot of attention to their, uh, their plight today. Um, so they, I was speaking to them before I, I, I speak to you, and they, I, I, I wouldn't say that they're hopeful that they're going to get anywhere, but uh, I, I would say that they're probably going to do another protest of this kind uh, if they find that they, uh, that they don't get anywhere with the current government of, um, of Pedro Sanchez. And Simon, I mean, this dates back four decades. Uh, how has the government handled this over the years? Well, according to the protesters, it has just completely ignored them. Uh, one of my colleagues from El Pais did ask them today about the, the compensation that they've received over the years, uh, and they were a little coy about that. They didn't want to speak about what they have received, but they have said it's been, it was, you know, it's practically nothing. But, for example, I mean, uh, Miguel Angel, who's the gentleman you can see behind me uh, in, the, in the wheelchair, uh, he was 11 years old uh, when he was poisoned by this adulterated uh, rape oil. Uh, and he says that he's not been able to work, you know, his whole life uh, and hasn't been given the proper uh, compensation uh, as a result. So uh, it, it is a battle they've been waging for a very long time. And uh, with this action today, obviously, they're hoping to make some progress. All right, Simon Hunter, thank you so much for joining us uh, live outside the Prado Museum in Madrid, where we still see these protesters still there at the museum.